where the word of a king is, there is power. And who, now get this, and who may say unto him, what doest thou? In other words, nobody can tell you as a king and a priest unto your God, you are to be a priest both to him and for him and a king, right? You get that? And it says, and nobody's going to say, what are you doing? Why? Because you're a king. You get to do what a king does in your position and you do what Jesus would do if he were here. So if, you do, if you're doing what Jesus did and somebody says, what, what do you think you're doing? Well, best thing to do is just ignore him and keep on about your father's business, Amen. right? And don't, don't be like, you know, or be like Nehemiah and don't come down off the wall just to talk with people. Amen? He says in uh, Job chapter 22, verse 26 says, For then, you get this, for then shalt thou have thy delight in the Almighty. How many of you have your delight in the Almighty? Yes. Amen. And shall lift up your face unto God. How many of you have done that? You've lifted your face unto God, right? You're not, your head's not bowed down in shame. You, you look up into the face of God, right? Thou shalt make thy prayer unto him, and he shall hear thee. That's good, right? That's a good word. And thou shalt pay thy vows. In other words, if you make a vow, do it. Keep it, right? Why? Because that's what God does. He doesn't alter the thing that's gone out of his mouth. He will perform his word. Verse 28, thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee. You will decree. You get that? You are the prophet of your own life. Most people are looking for somebody else to be a prophet to them and speak a word to them. Whenever you are, God expects you to be the prophet of your own life, and you are to prophesy this word to yourself and say, this is the word of the Lord. This is what God is saying to me. He said, I'm the head, not the tail. He said, he supplies all my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. He says that by his stripes I was healed. He says that every spiritual blessing in heavenly has been granted to me by him. So you start prophesying to yourself. Why? Because you're a king and you can speak the truth and cause the truth to come to pass in your life. You will decree a thing and it shall be established unto you. Amen. Amen? Now think about this. It doesn't say, now you shall decree a thing, but you'll only say good things and it'll be established. He says, no, no, no. You'll decree it and it'll be established. What does that mean? That means that you have power in your words to change your life. Yep. Now what, what words are you using to change your life? Amen. Oh, things are getting worse. I don't know what we're going to do. Ah, oh, man, I can't afford gas. I can't afford this thing. What are you doing? You're decreeing a thing and it shall be established unto you. You need to decree. To, to decree. You know what? Uh, my economy is from heaven. God meets all my needs. He didn't say, he did not say, my God shall supply all your needs as long as gas doesn't go above $4 a gallon. <laughs> he did not say that. Amen. He said he will meet all your needs. Amen. Right. 